Welcome back everyone. We're going to take a look at the Adams Detailing Swabs. They are a simple, versatile, appreciated little tool. They're able to reach in where a lot of tools and brushes can't. In the interior, exterior trim, around emblems, tight corners. They have a soft foam tip. Now you can get a bag of 10 for $9.99, which to me seemed a little salty at first until I used them. One detailing swab can get done two to three cars. Just clean it out afterwards, let it dry, and you're able to use it for the next car. Even using it around sharp, jagged areas, the foam tips hold up pretty well, so you can get your money's worth out of it. So today, let's take a look at the Adams Detailing Swabs. As we take a closer look at the swabs, the long, skinny plastic handle can be bent to whatever shape you need to reach into tight areas. It's about six inches long. It will not snap in half. It's a half inch wide, but you could squish it down to get into tighter places than that. And like I said, the, the foam tip is very durable. You can really get rough with it and it'll hold up for two or three cars. So many different areas you could use it. Center console. Cup holders uh, around the instrument cluster. You could use it to dust. You could use it to clean. You can also use it to condition. You can apply cleaners to it. You can apply detailers to it. You can also apply conditioners. I appreciate having them in my arsenal for these areas right here, in and around vents, uh, in between the cracks and panels of leather seats, and exterior trim, especially where you get a car in where the owner had attempted to do a polish job or some kind of a wax, a hard wax, and it gets stuck in between the corners and the cracks. This is an excellent tool to remove that crap. And how I go about that, I'll grab an IP solution. In this case here, it's going to be the Gion Prep. Just to apply directly onto the swab and go in around that exterior trim and remove the, the spent wax or compounds or whatever may be stuck in there. There really isn't an area on a vehicle where you can't reach or can't get to to clean. If you have to bend the handle in two or three angles to get where you have to go, it'll withstand that. It will not snap in half and you can get the job done. Nothing more irritating than rubber seals, grommet or trim that may have been stained by a wax or a sealant or some polish. Well, this tool gets in where others can't and quickly and effectively cleans it just like this. After thoroughly cleaned, if you want to add some protection or a conditioner, this is the tool to get in there and reach it. Although detailing brushes can be good to get in some of these hard to reach places, the bristles sometimes are often too soft to be aggressive to enough to clean. And if you go with a more aggressive bristle, it may scuff or scratch the area where these won't. Areas like this here facing the sun can get a bit aggravating when the product has been baking into the rubber or plastic trim. The detailing swab here makes quick, easy work of it. This here swab has been the same throughout the whole video. I've been quite aggressive with it, going in and out the jagged areas of this plastic trim, and it holds up well. I'll be able to clean it and use it again. Many other uses for the detailing swabs. You can apply a cleaner to the tips. You can apply detailers and conditioners to the tips, and they still hold up pretty well. I'm going to put a link down below. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail. Catch you in the next video.